Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One. Tuesday, March the 5th, the year 2018. Let's talk trading. How to trade like a pro. No zero days. What am I talking about? What I'm talking about is, is you don't have a day where you miss something that you're supposed to do. That's what I mean by no zero days. It comes from, uh, I picked it up from the uh, idea of working out, where you work out part of your body every day. You have no zero days, no day where you did nothing. Now, as Forex traders, you know, there's Saturday, the market's closed, and stock traders, Saturday, Sunday, the market's closed. So you might think, well, what about those days? Well, you can either not count them. You could say no zero market days. Or you could say, you know what? When the uh, market's closed, that's the time to do some uh, studying of charts, studying of plans, learning more. So you can always do something. It's up to you. I'm not here to... Um, what would I say, criticize or chastise you for what you don't do or what you do. You know, that's your choice. I'm just here to offer alternatives, some ideas, some techniques that maybe you can try them. And if they work for you, you adopt them and then adapt them. Or you could say, you know what? No, that doesn't even sound like anything I'm interested in. You can just shut the video down. So the concept of no zero days is something I want you to consider. And it's more about planning and then executing the plan. In other words, you might say no zero days where I fail, where I fail to use proper money and risk management. So every day you might have a, a little, uh, one of the rows might say uh, used money and risk management properly each and every trade. And you put a check mark. Or maybe you could uh, start a count number of days in a row. That way you don't want it to go back to zero. So, so you every day you add one to that number. You know, it's funny. Some people call it the Seinfeld approach because that was something he did. But I learned that way before Seinfeld ever hit the, uh, hit the mark. I, I have a uh, chart. It's basically... 31 columns across, 1 through 31, and then all the different things go down the uh, left-hand column. And I either and I used to use that when I was working out um, exclusively, and I put a black check or black X on the days that I worked, and then if I worked out, and if I didn't, there had to be a big red X. And the one thing I did not want to see after a string of black Xs was a red X and that's the motivation to say get up and tr and uh, work out when you don't feel like it it might be the motivation to get up and trade when you don't feel like it you know, no zero days so let's take a look here euro yen has definitely uh, gone down some more and you can see here we've had I think we had what seven unfilled now we only have three unfilled gaps so there's still a couple out there for you guys to take advantage of, you traders. And you can see here, we're right about the previous midpoint, on the, on the previous week's midpoint, right there. And you can see we're pulling back off that yearly high, heading towards the open. We're still 103 pips above that open. Notice we opened below the previous day's midpoint right here. And we fell and we the price went up and touched it and came back down. That's why I have these magenta dots, previous day's midpoint. You know, if it opens under the midpoint, then you look for an opportunity to short. If it opens above, you look for an opportunity to go long. Just one of the trades that I do. And sometimes you can see here it made a higher low off of a higher low. You see lower low, higher low, higher low. You see it crossed the midpoint to the upside, even though it was below, I like those midpoint crossovers too. You can see here it failed to do a midpoint crossover, almost. 
So if you would have went long there, you would have wound up scratching that trade or hitting your stop. Unless your stop's down here for some reason. Okay, let's look at what's going on here. We've got the uh, first day of the month high and low. You can see we cross below that again. And here's the first day of the week high low. You can see we cross below that again. So you can see how these numbers, these levels, I should say, are playing an important part of price action. So it's something to consider. And we are above January, February open. And you know what? I need to put, them. I thought I did that. I think I forgot to save the portfolio yesterday. That's what happened. Or the, not the portfolio, but the profile. So I will have to do that today. You can see here, we're below the first day of the month's open. Yeah, I forgot to do it here. Usually, when you uh, make a mistake, you repeat the mistake. <laughs> but really, I only needed to save the profile once, not save the templates. Even though I could save the templates, too. Okay. Here, we hit the high of that inside bar on Friday, that monthly inside bar, and it got rejected. That was the low. Inside bar low rejected. So price just, just moved out of that level once again. And you can see here yesterday, we had a whole bunch of inside bars. So anybody wants to trade these inside bars, there's your opportunity. The daily inside bars. Okay, we've got five over 100, one right at 100. You can see here we broke through the previous day's low. Went out of the wick zone a couple of times, and we'll see that on the wick zone chart. Daily highest H1 highest open. Monthly H1 lowest open occurring this bar. Something to consider. A long trade reversal. Only you're in the rat zone. And right here we had to pivot way above. So that was a clear bias entering long. You see here it took out the pivot came back a touch if you wanted to do a pro trade and, and try that for another long you see profit once again we entered went through the buy zone didn't make a new high so it came back looks like a scratch here we entered in that looks like a scratch once again another scratch here it looks like a looks like a profitable trade and when i say scratch i mean you know plus or minus you know one or two pips it's you know even though those two pip trades can add up and you can see here larry live trade we are in the green rat zone you can see here turn trade rat reversal and somebody asked me about the latest rat uh the rat zone hasn't trade there's been nothing done I can't even remember how old this indicator is. I'd have to probably look in the code, but I think it's at least 10 years old. Maybe eight years old. I'm not, I don't remember for sure. But the point is there's, there's been no changes, no modifications, no updates <laughs> uh, to the rat. I mean, it's just, it's a solid, it's solid. This is, this is it. 
And just one other thing, just remember, these are the rat zones and a rat reversal, green rat reversal is red bar closes, green bar closes, next bar breaks the high of that green bar and that's your trigger right here, the high of this green bar. And so for red rat, green bar closes, red bar closes, and the low of that red bar is your red rat trigger. And so the rat reversal trade is different from the rat zone. I mean, you can do a rat reversal like right here, any place on the chart, but it, it works best in the rat zone. Just to clarify that. And you can see here, we took out the pivot, monthly pivots down here, weekly pivot, we hit it. Missed pivots, we still have two from February, two from January, and two from 2018. And 2018s are up here. But you see here, those misses were, were small. The only big miss that we have right now is this 87 pip miss on, the, on uh, January the 4th. What that means is if you take that bias and trade towards the pivot, the missed pivot, or the pivot for that day, um, you might only get a couple pips. Just because it didn't hit it does not imply it wasn't a profitable trade. Okay, two ball at the top, red at the line, pro trade on the same bar, three ball at the bottom, looking for a green at the line at 126.50, Larry live trade. And as you can see here, in and out of the wick zone. Here, once again, trying to make a high through the previous month's high, not holding, price reversed, go short, and there you have it. As you can see here, we've had some activity going up and down, just a few pips at the tick level. Einstein line, really from this point where we entered, you see there was one trade triggered, only good for a pip. You see we just had another trade triggered. So we're still in seeing in that trade seeing what's happening. We've got selling going on at the moment. So there you have it fellow traders, no zero days. I hope you can uh, use that in trading and you might even want to use that in other areas of your life because remember it's not what you trade it's how you trade it so get out there and drain the banks 